What's up, family? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yes Chef. I'm your host, Big Chef Dro, and we are continuing with our holiday seasonal menu. And today, we're gonna give you a base of Thanksgiving. And that's the stock that's gonna make the gravy. So today, it's all about the turkey stock. I'm gonna show you how to get it together, kind of give you some inside tips on what to do as well as what not to do so you can have the perfect base to make the perfect holiday gravy for your family. And if you're trying to impress that old bougie uh, mother-in-law of yours, wait till she tastes this. So sit back, relax, let's cook. Okay, family, welcome back. Let's get into the ingredients of the uh, turkey stock uh, that we're gonna be preparing. Uh, that is going to turn into some turkey gravy in another episode. So it's gonna take me several hours to complete this. So let's go ahead and go in on the ingredients. First, the star of the show, I have some turkey here. I picked this up from Publix. Uh, they sold, uh, I think I bought the, the two wings together and then i brought a pack of the turkey necks which are here and then i brought a pack of the two um uh, thighs okay so i got some really good meat i i think this uh these necks are gonna just hold a lot of flavor in those okay so i am going to uh, go ahead and put some olive oil on the turkey i'm just going to coat it and just get it ready for the oven okay now I'm gonna put it in the oven for about an hour. I'm going to set the oven to uh, 425 and we'll keep it in there for an hour and when it comes out, we'll of course show you that process, uh, but let's move on to the rest of the uh, other ingredients. So here I have some multicolored uh, peppercorns. I have uh, white, I have red, I have black, and I think there's a, uh, a green in there as well, okay? I have some garlic, I have uh, some crushed garlic, I just took them out of, I, I buy, I like to buy the garlic already peeled in the, in the pack. So I just took those out and crushed those. Uh, so I don't know. It's, uh, it looks like it may be, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 of them in there. Then I have two uh, jumbo onions. So what I'm going to do with these onions is I'm going to go ahead and um, leave the skin on there, but I'm going to slice them. So we'll have that ready as well. Here I have some bay leaves and I have uh, some uh, sprigs of thyme as well. And then here I have the uh, better than bouillon roasted garlic base. I'm gonna throw some of that in there. And I'm gonna say it's about a, uh, about a tablespoon and a half. Uh, I really do want that garlic flavor to come out in this. And then I have some celery stalk, which is washed and then some carrots which are washed as well so here's my thinking behind this stock so you know you're going to get a video of dressing mashed potatoes of course the turkey and you're going to have a lot of flavor and a lot of seasoning in all of those now i'm not going to put a heavy amount of her of of herbs in here the bay leaves okay a little bit of time, okay, why not? Well, the um, the dressing is gonna have a lot of herbs, my turkey is gonna have a lot of herbs, and I want everything to stand on its own. So I don't wanna overcompensate with this gravy and then not have people get the fullness of what I'm trying to accomplish with the gravy. I want my gravy to stand out on its own. I don't want it to merge in with the other uh, uh, foods because I'm basically going to be using herbs on those foods as well. So I'm just going to keep it simple when it comes to the herbs. That's just the way I want to do it. Hey man, if you guys want to add some sage and some basil and some oregano and all that other stuff, or uh, you want to put just a, a whole garden in your turkey stock, have at it. You know, this it's, it's your turkey stock. So, um, but this is how I want to do it because I want to just keep this turkey stock with a turkey flavor. I don't wanna you know, overdo it with all the herbs, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just start uh, putting some olive oil on the uh, turkey. And then I'll just go ahead and just start rubbing it around, uh, getting it, you know, all over it. Just so, you know, we'll, we'll get a nice little uh, golden color because of the uh, olive oil that's on it as well. Okay. Um, now, I'm not going to put any seasoning on this at all. Uh, again, um, I'm going to probably put that into the... Um, into the uh, stock itself, into the pot. As you can see, this is freshly cut, so you got a little little blood running. I hope you guys aren't aren't squeamish or anything. Uh, but I just cut those uh, wings uh, a little bit of go. So really fresh stuff. You can tell, really fresh. All right. So uh, these are all prepared and ready to go into uh, the oven. So we'll get those off in there. I'm just going to put it in the roasting pan. Nothing special. And we'll keep that in there for an hour. Once I put that in there, I'll be back um, to um, go over the uh, vegetables with you. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just keep the skin on here and we're just going to uh, cut these the long way. And what we're going to do is we're going to set these down into the uh, stock pot when we start to uh, cook off the, uh, the vegetables for the stock. Just a rough chop on those. You can get the smaller ones. And we're putting all of that in there. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to waste time trying to, you know, pick out something and try to let me take that little piece off of there. This... We'll take these ends off of the carrots. We're not going to skin these carrots. We're going to keep them just the way they are um, and just rough chop them. Just kind of get them ready to go into the pot. All right, so I got some smoke. I'm going to go ahead and lay these onions down in there. I'll use the... Uh, I'll use the tongs for that so I don't burn myself. All right, so I'll turn that down a little bit because it is smoking pretty good. Turn that down to a nice medium and I'll let these onions get caramelized. All right, so as you can see, we got some nice color on there. So we'll just go ahead and just add everything else into there. Got the garlic in there. Put those bay leaves. Get that thyme off in there. The peppers. And we'll wait on this. We'll wait till we put the water in uh, to get that started. But let's just go ahead and just sweat these off a little bit. Let's get everything together. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in there. want everything to kind of get incorporated in there let those uh let that garlic start smelling off let those peppers get in there as well all right there we go so we have the turkey fresh out the oven we're just going to put this over into the stock pot
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the remaining liquid that's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that over into that stock pot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on, get a little heat on here. As you can see, it's already starting to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and deglaze this roasting pan with some Pinot Grigio white wine. And then we're gonna try to get all of this goodness. You know, I call that the goodness off the bottom of this. All right. All right, it's coming off really good. Now you can use water. If you wanna use water, that's fine. You can use water on this. Um, I like to always deglaze with a, um, with a wine. And just be patient with it. You know, some is not gonna come off right away. Some will. But just be a little patient with it. This is the perfect way to deglaze. All right, so I have everything ready to go. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the roasted garlic base into the stock pot. Put that in there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add uh, this wine uh, mixture into it. Make sure you get everything. Make sure everything is off of there really good because you want all these flavors. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this into the stock pot. Okay, so what I have here in this stock pot is a gallon and a half of water, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mix everything around and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my stove and I'm gonna keep it on there for, man, at least four hours and see what we have after four hours, okay? So right now it's six o'clock, so I'm looking at a time of 10 o'clock and I'm cool with that. This just gives me a reason to go sit out on my patio and smoke some cigars while I wait for this to boil. And this is gonna reduce. Now, the longer you cook this, the more flavor you're gonna get, okay? And um, we'll be back in four hours to see how everything is going, all right? Um, what I don't wanna do is, I don't wanna add any more water to this. So, I'm gonna put it on medium, and I'm going to put it on my stove, not the burner, but I'm gonna put it on my stove for uh, four hours. And in four hours, we will see exactly how this is looking. All right, so we'll be back. All right, family, so we are getting up to a boil. Um, we are basically at about 45 minutes and it's starting to boil a little little too much so what I'm gonna do I have it on medium so I'm just gonna turn it down to a uh, medium low because I don't want it to boil too hard and uh, I'll give it a little stir uh, after this and we'll continue to to uh, to cook it so you don't want it to get to this point you want it to you know you want to make sure that it's not boiling like this okay so uh, if it continues, I'll turn it down to low and, you know, we'll let it cook from there. Now, I have not put a lid on it. I'm just leaving it uncovered for the four hours. Uh, looks like it's dying down a little bit now. So uh, just so you know, you don't want it to be uh, boiling this much. All right. All right. So uh, as you know, I turned it down on medium low. Uh, and it was still kind of boiling vigorously. So uh, I turned it down to low, okay? 
and this is what I'm getting. So this is where I want to be. Now, I want to just have a soft little boil, kind of let it cook down. Now, I didn't add any salt to this uh, because it's a stock. I'll add salt as I make a gravy. I don't want to just, you know, make this. Um, I don't want to just season this. I want to season whatever gravy or whatever I'm going to make out of this. So this is where we're at right now. Uh, as you can see, there are some impurities that are coming up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to skim that off with a ladle or either, you know, this this spoon right here. I'll just kind of skim all of that off just so we can have a nice pure stock to it. OK, so uh, once you get everything in, put it on medium until it starts to boil and then put it down on low instead of medium low. OK, so this is where we're at right now. And once everything is done, we'll be back. All right. So we have about three minutes before 10 o'clock and I'm not satisfied with these results. So I'm going to let this continue to cook. Uh, I'll probably give it another two hours. I want it to really reduce down uh, to get that flavor in there. As you can see, um, it's already, you know, went down a little bit, but I want it to go a little bit more down. So um, you can probably tell I'm recording this on my phone. Uh, so give me a couple of more hours. Uh, I guess we're going until 12 a.m. Again, gives me a reason to sit on my patio and smoke a cigar. So we'll see you in two hours and uh, we'll we'll let you see what it looks like at that point. All right, family. So we're back. Uh, so let me tell you how the rest of this process went uh, after the four hours. Of course, I wasn't satisfied with it. So I let it cook for about two more hours. And as you can see, I let it cook down to half. I reduced this by half. Uh, but one of the things that I did do was that I turned it back to medium. Uh, so I can get a little bit more of a, a, a nice boil out of it. And this is right where I wanted it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of the uh, all of the big things out of this. And then I'm going to just put it I'm going to let it cool and put it in the refrigerator or maybe maybe I'll just let it uh, sit out and cool until tomorrow morning. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put it in a jar of some sorts so that we can have this stock ready for our gravy. So I'm going to go ahead and just take all of this stuff out of here. And listen, folks, there's a lot of meat in here, but. This meat tastes like nothing. It's it's very uh, all the flavors have been cooked out of this meat. All the flavor is in this is in this stock. So don't think like you got a whole lot of meat that you're going to sit here and, and, and eat and pick at uh, because you're just going to be tasting cardboard. <laughs> so so I'll get the rest of this out of here and we'll be back tomorrow. Um, I have the stock that's been sitting out uh, to cool. So if you see here, there is a layer of grease on top of that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little uh, handy separator here uh, to put it down into uh, this mason jar. All right, so we'll just start uh, filtering this out. And so what, what this does is, let me explain this real quick. So you put, you know, liquid or whatever to be separated, butter, however you want to do it, but you would put it into this container. You let it settle. You let everything rise or however, you know, it's going to do. With this, the grease is going to rise up to the top. And once it's settled, you'll just hit it, and there's a little hole at the bottom so that everything that is not up top 
will go down and you watch it until it gets to a point where you're you're like okay all right that's enough and like with this all the grease would still be in here and then I'll discard of that but the turkey stock you know will be in here filtered from all of that grease all right so it's gonna take a minute to to settle uh, but I'm gonna put my first round into this and then we'll go from there All right, so I'm gonna just let that settle, and then we'll be back when I, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll come back to show you how it looks once everything settles. All right, family, so as you can see, the, um, the grease has uh, separated, everything has settled. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of the uh, mason jar, which is where I'm gonna hold my stock at until I get ready to make the gravy. And just push that button all that's going to come through and I'm going to stop it right there so all I really have left is basically nothing but uh, the grease and the oil uh, that floated to the top um, as you can see I have a little I have a lot more left which I'll put into a um, I'll put that into another jar um, I'll go ahead and fill this back up. All right, everyone, so there you have it. How to make homemade uh, turkey stock. It's very easy, very simple. It's gonna take some time, but you can do other things while you're waiting on that uh, to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We have a lot more uh, videos coming for the holiday seasonal menu. Uh, we got some candied yams, we got some stuffing and gravy, we got some green bean casserole, and of course we have the star of Thanksgiving, the turkey. All those videos are coming up really, really soon, so stay tuned. You are going to be able to impress that old bougie mother-in-law of yours, and you're going to be, or you're going to be able to impress your family with the things you learn on this channel. Now. If you like the content that you have seen, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button. If this is your first time watching Yes Chef, I want to thank you for joining. And if you want to be a part of this family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Because we're going to continue bringing the flavor and we're going to continue bringing these recipes to you. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that notification button as well. Don't forget to go over to my website, look around. If you want to know anything about the Chef's Table event, go ahead and hit me up. If you want me to come to the city, to your city, to throw a Chef's Table for you and your city, let me know as well. So, again, thank you so much for watching. And until the very next time I see you folks, until the very next video, as always, peace.